Hi everybody and welcome to the Glass Studio. Today we're working with lead with Ed. Just like with any project, your square and your project being square is the most important part. I have drawn my pattern and my outside lines here represent the finished line of the design. This inside line right here is in 3 16ths of an inch and this is what I'm gonna do. I've anchored this piece on my pattern on the line where I want. I'm taking my square and I'm gonna line my wood up right here on my line and then I'm gonna slide my square over where I want it. And I'm gonna make sure that this square stays exactly where it needs to be. Now we're, we're gonna take, and this end gets screwed down. Now you can start with your L over here on the right side, but I'm left-handed. I prefer to work from the left to the right so as I'm working with these leaded windows, I'm starting here on the corner. That's right, Mary. I start on this corner and I work my way all the way to this corner so that I'm kind of going just like this, all the way up bottom to top at the diagonal. So let's get this piece of channel laid down so it doesn't move so that we can get this process started. Our square is exactly where it needs to be. So if you start out, <laughs> oddly enough, everybody, if you start out square, it usually finishes up square. If you start out at a square, it gets worse and worse as you go on. So be very careful. So just a small framing square like this, get your window started. And now we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you how to stretch some lead. So now, we're stretching lead with it. Here we go. This is a lead vise. So your lead actually goes in there by about an inch. I usually like just push it down a little bit. I use the Stanton stretcher. So you hold down on the, on because it has a lead vise attached to it. So you just kind of hold down on that. This is our 3 8 lead. Watch this. It just jumped right up. And we stretch it about three inches. That's it. So that what it, it activates the molecules and it'll, alleviate any problem. Look how strong that got by stretching it. So by stretching it, we're making our lead a little more rigid, but we're also making sure that it doesn't stretch when the wind is built. So now we're back over to our pattern. So I've stretched our lead. And remember, this is 3 8 flat H. This particular window and all the windows on this job are going into a 3 quarter inch square stop that's going to hold them in. So we're doing just about, I think we're doing the right thing. We're using three eighths. It's a common lead and I can also use it in a lot of other windows or window designs. So I've got my Lepinette lead nippers and I'm going to tell you, if you don't have a pair of these, you're going to love them. If you get a pair, go to our website, check it out and your Lepinette lead nippers. So what we're going to do is first off, we're going to cut this I've got it a little bit longer than the pattern. We're gonna cut this off. We'll set this over here for right now. So our lead nippers have pretty much squared this off. But what I'm gonna do is kind of lay them a little bit sideways and then go straight down. Now what that did, that squared that up for me. So now we're back over to our pattern. So I've stretched our lead. And remember, this is 3 8 flat H. This particular window and all the windows on this job are going into a 3 quarter inch square stop that's going to hold them in. So we're doing just about, I think we're doing the right thing. We're using 3 8 It's a common lead. And I can also use it in a lot of other windows or window designs. So I've got my Lepinette lead nippers. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't have a pair of these, you're going to love them if you get a pair. Go to our website, check it out. So what we're gonna do is first off, we're gonna cut this. I've got it a little bit longer than the pattern. We're gonna cut this off. We'll set this over here for right now. So our lead nippers have pretty much squared this off. But what I'm gonna do is kind of lay them a little bit sideways and then go straight down. Now what that did, that squared that up for me. Okay, so we're gonna put this right up that side right there. Okay. Just like that. Now the inside 
of our lead nippers leaves this edge. And it works good if you have square edges coming off. It leaves like 245s, okay? So to, to start with, we're gonna square this up with our square edge, and then we're gonna cut and cut, okay? So we'll start this down here at the bottom. And we'll just put this right there, come over here. And I'm just gonna relieve a stress cut here because every time I walk by the table, I'll be bending this and messing it up. So I'm just gonna take this off right here. We'll just drop that. And now we're fine. So once we start applying the rope design in here, and then we'll come back and remember, we're gonna start using 732nd lead till we get to the dock. The dock is 3 16 the sky, and then remember this part right here, this is copper foil. So we're gonna be inserting this copper foil into the leaded window. Hey, we're back in the glass studio today and we're working on window number two of the flankers for the salad bar in the Merle's Inlet project. So I've started the rope down the bottom and you can see we've got all these nice pretty little miters, everything's all lined up. And now we've started on the water. Well, we still have three pieces of rope to put in and that's number 14 and I, we'll just, we're just gonna slide that right in here and get it ready to go in. And we're just gonna set it right there for now because we have to cut a new piece, a piece of lead and then we're gonna to have to bend it and then we'll slide it in. We'll finish all this up. Our next step is gonna to be to move all of the dock wood, or the, the dock wood, yeah, the dock glass over so that we can get the dock put together. And then we're gonna start working on the sky and then we'll be taking the time out on the next video to solder the new Snug Harbor sign that goes in this particular window. So stay tuned, don't go away. <laughs>